The exploration of fear, freedom and control pushing the theme of oppression in the seminal text V for Vendetta by Alan Moore and David Lloyd blends and is recontextualised in the film V for Vendetta by James McTeague through the use of a range of techniques. The idea of control is not necessarily tangible. Control is a central theme of both the graphic novel and the film, however, they are announced and explored differently. The idea of control is explored through the seminal text through fear, the choice of setting, mise-en-scene, as well as the use of silhouettes and general threats made by the government to make examples of people stepping out of line so that others are persuaded by fear to sit back and not rebel. A prime example of this is shown in the broadcast of V's message in the film, where the layout of people's homes, being minimalistic and unhomely, signifies the grip that the government has on citizens, transferring the effect to the reader. Fear is extremely prominent in the book and the reconceptualization, with both relying on tangible aspects of control, with heavy army presences littered around the film as seen in the final scene of the film, where the army is preparing to hold back the rebels. The scene in the seminal text where the military is outside the broadcasting building that V is televising his message from uses a low to high shot to demonstrate the power the military has over civilians. The government also uses a no stone unturned outlook on surveillance, as well as the use of propaganda which keeps people controlled. The film requires tangible aspects of fear to push control across, though the book uses intangible as well as tangible strategies to scare people into hiding. A lack of freedom silently becomes oppression. Freedom, portrayed as a lack of in both the seminal text and the reconceptualization, pushes an agenda of oppression. As seen in the flea in a jar experiment, where fleas will be left in a closed jar for three days and then will never jump higher than where the lid was, even if it is taken off. This theme is explored in the seminal text through overriding control as well as power. In the film, the amount of power that the government has over people is extremely effective in suffocating freedom, especially se seen in the Gordon's death scene. The low to high shot portrayed in a POV manner gives the audience, and more importantly Evie, an example of what will happen if the government even gets a glimpse of someone stepping out of line. This suffocation at the stem of freedom, being a TV show utilising satire as a means of putting a message of hope and joy out to the community, is looked upon by the government as an attempt at regaining freedom, thus a problem. Fighting to regain freedom is swiftly engulfed by fear. As in the example of Gordon's death, the use of fear is demonstrated in both the seminal text but also the reconceptualization. At the start of the graphic novel, Evie is working as a prostitute, trying to make money her own way and not be completely oppressed by the government. This attempt at freedom is swiftly shut down as many government officials come around the corner trying to make an example out of her. The use of lighting gives the reader a grasp of what the moment would have felt like for Evie, as well as the wide-angle shot showing the propaganda deterring people from defying the government. This pairs with the close-up with the extremely skinny frame to show the suffocation she must have felt in the moment. However, it was fear that drove the feeling of suffocation. In the movie, this scene has been reconceptualized using different methods of transferring fear from Evie to the reader. The most prominent example of the reconceptualization is the use of music, dramatizing the scene as it slowly rises in volume and increases in rhythm. Another example of reconceptualization in the film is the retention of the same propaganda poster, signifying the power of the all-seen government and the use of surveillance to oppress, scare and control. Thus, fear is the main deterrent to keep communities oppressed. Fear is the main driver for communicating the messages, themes and ideas in both the seminal text and the film. In the book, fear is littered everywhere, utilising the frame, the lighting in the illustrations and the gutters to either slow down or speed up the novel, raising the tempo to show tension or fear, and slowing down the tempo to show a more serious passage. The rise in tempo using gutters and the lack of speech is used in the scene where Evie is being set up in the detention camp. This is clearly a scene where fear is prominent and, and is explored through the min minimalistic use of thought bubbles and the similar palette of colours throughout the scene to make the passage seem faster. These uses of fear are also explored in the film, including the same scene from the book when Evie is being put in the facility. The ominous music invokes a cloud of fear around Evie, and instead of using thought bubbles in the film, they use camera angles such as pans and jump cuts to give off the same effect. This reconceptualization is not lost in the colour palette, keeping the dark and silhouetted theme of the seminal text. On balance, the differences and similarities between the seminal text and the reconceptualization allow for ideas to blend and clash in new ways. It is a form that V for Vendetta is communicated in that allows for the change in ideas. The recontextualization allows for a change in the outline of the story whilst keeping the centre the same and to carry the same effect. The effect on the viewer is powerful and being able to watch the movie and read the seminal text gives one a complete understanding of the outline of the story and a great example of how ideas blend and clash.